been trying to bleed the clutch on my Phase 4 Civic for several days now. Several bottles of hydraulic fluid and a number of kind visits by the female assistant race car mechanic we call the wife have failed to succeed. I called a mate of mine who's our local Honda expert professional and he said Hondas can be a real pain to bleed. Bleed it at the master cylinder rather than at the slave cylinder. So I did that twice, still can't get a pedal. So all wifely favours getting in and out of a full bucket seat in a race car with a roll cage have been exhausted. There are basically three methods used to bleed hydraulics on both brakes and clutch. The first one is pump the pedal. And that's the most commonly used method to uh, evacuate air out of hydraulic systems in backyard race car sheds around the world. Pump the pedal. The second method is called vacuum bleeding, where a tool is attached to the bleed screws and suction is applied, which draws the fluid through and sucks the air out. The third method is pressure bleeding, where a tool is attached to the uh, fluid reservoir where the cap normally goes, pressure is applied and the fluid is forced through the master cylinder and the whole brake or clutch system and by cracking the bleed screw at the end the fluid is forced out. Both of those last two methods, pressure bleeding and vacuum bleeding, don't require anybody to sit in the driver's seat and pump the pedal. The limitation with pressure bleeding is that the tool that you buy must have an adapter that fits your fluid reservoir. And as you'd be aware, brake and clutch fluid reservoirs vary tremendously in their cap design from make to make and even model to model of car. I can't use vacuum bleeding in my situation because I've had to cut the bleed screw off the clutch slave cylinder to get it to clear the front engine mount. So I've got to use pressure bleeding. Even though pressure bleed toolkits come with a variety of uh, reservoir caps, many brands of car, like Honda's, are just not included. But the pressure bleed kits I found online are $185 and upwards, and like I said, they don't include uh, reservoir caps that fit Honda's. I've had to make my own. The 5 litre weed sprayer from the local hardware shop, <coughs> $24. The threaded brass tube fitting to go into the reservoir cap and a spare reservoir cap to fit your make of car. Connect the fittings so that you don't have the wand with the spray on it and I've moved the trigger closer to the bottle and you've got your own hydraulic pressure bleed system.